Hello les amis, comment il est? It's Evelyn and I have the pleasure to meet you again for not my last but almost last video of my budget in Asia. But it's my last destination, which, as I said in my past video, South Korea. So South Korea is literally the last destination I wanted to do. Knowing that I've been to Japan uh, earlier during the year, South Korea felt like obviously I want to end my trip there. I've been into K-pop for over two years now and knowing that I could end up in Korea and maybe, I said maybe, crossing some artists that I like, I was like mind-blowing. But I decided to stay in Busan first only because the plane from Taiwan to Korea was less expensive if I arrived in Busan and also because I really wanted to see the sea. Busan is close to the sea so I was like if I have to choose I don't really like big city capitals so I'd rather go somewhere I could feel a bit more comfortable. At first I was a bit scared because I thought that the volunteering was not that good because when I contacted the person uh, on the website I use, which is Alpix, one of the comments was really, really bad. And I was like, okay, you want to go to South Korea, you want to talk to people, so please just try it. If you don't like it, you can leave, that's fine. And when I was looking the location into the website, I saw that it was in the center of Busan. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I can still take the transportation to go see the sea or whatever but when my host actually sent me where I gotta stay no joke it was right in front of the sea no joke it was 15 away from Kongali beach so I literally had my feet into the sand and I was like I gotta stay there I don't care how bad this this could look I gotta stay there so at the end it was perfect because I planned to stay there only one month and I ended up staying two months and a half. So I think that say how much I love there. It's just like, I think I could talk about South Korea for so long that I won't because this is about the budget. Anyway, so I stayed there 81 day. It was about Busan. I went to Daegu, I went to Ulsan and I stayed in Seoul for a bit more than a weekend and a full week. So we're going to talk about that just after. The plane ticket from Taiwan to Busan was 200 euros, uh, knowing that also it was a spring, so spring cost a bit more. The SIM card, oh my god. In my first video, I said that I thought that Singapore or Hong Kong was about to be expensive for the SIM card, but actually it was South Korea. I spent 144 euros for the SIM card. It was first two months, but I thought the lady said that it was free for the third month, but I didn't, I, I literally overhear it, like it was not true. So I just spent more and it was at the end 144 euros. But I also had my transportation card, which is literally um, the SIM card here. And this is my transportation card. It's really useful and it's a bit expensive, but anyway, I had to spend it to have it. The transportation was 183 euros. Um, this is the cost of inside Busan, from Busan to Seoul, Seoul to Busan, Busan to Daegu, Daegu to Busan, and Seoul to Ulsan, Ulsan to Busan. Got it? Okay. The stay, um, as I said, I didn't spend much on the stay for the two months and a half because I was volunteering, but I paid two nights in Ulsan with my friend, so it was shared. I spent no money sold the first weekend because I got hosted, which was not the best experience of my life, but anyway. Then when I was in Seoul for the whole week before leaving, I stayed with another friend I met in Japan and we stayed together in a Airbnb for a whole week so it was also shared. As I said, having people who got your back and sharing with you is the best way to save money. Then the food. The food is basically what cost the most but I still think that was not that much which was 746 euros. Um, I wanted to cut it in half for what I spent into restaurant and what I spent for grocery shopping because in Busan I was able to cook too 
but I think it was kind of half half honestly so three three hundred something and three hundred something not in Seoul though in Seoul I spent a lot of money outside activity as I said in my past video I love museum I love museum I'm an intellectual person if you make my brain work I will love you literally I will fall in love with you if you are interested in me museum let's talk about museum museum are free most of it basically all of them I never heard of a museum you have to pay except for exhibition I would say um so yeah museum are basically free which was which is my favorite activity to do every time I travel uh, you can learn a lot and I love art I'm an artist so this is the best I could say um, so activities only 40 euros and same I don't remember what I spent in and care it was 148 euros I guess you see me coming with that skincare yeah pretty much I think that's it for budget by country and in the last video I will talk about every destination in one according to every category of what I spend a total for 81 day in Korea is 1437 euros once again this doesn't count the other category which is what I spend for myself and also has a gift for my family and my friends so yeah that's it for this traveling video and I hope you like it. Um, this come to an end and I'll see you for the last video uh, to see all the budget together. Annyeong!